We saw that if we have two conflicting rules with the same specificity, the last rule will be applied. And now we will see how the specificity can make some rules more powerful. So let's take an example here. So here we have two rules. The first one is using the class selector and the second one is using the element selector. If the class selector and the element selector had the same specificity, our text color would be blue. But here we see that the text color is red. That's because the class selector is more specific than the element selector. So the more specific rule will be applied. Now what will happen if we use an ID? You can notice that this rule is the one that is applied and that's because the ID selector is more specific than the class selector and the element selector. So here is an image that explains specificity. So 1-0-0 will always be bigger than 0 80 0 and 0 1 0 will always be bigger than 0 0 20. For example, if we use 5 element selectors, this will never be more specific than using one class selector. Or using 3 class selectors will never be more specific than using one ID selector. So knowing the specificity of each selector that we've learned in this course is very important.